A title I have been waiting to hear more on, guys, after the reveal we got is Beyond Good and Evil 2. This is a game, guys, coming out from Ubisoft at some point in the foreseeable future. And what I wanted to go ahead and do in this segment of the show is talk about everything that we want in Beyond Good and Evil 2. And when I say we, guys, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions here. Some of you may agree, some of you may disagree. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. So let's get into it. So Beyond Good and Evil 2 is, of course, the sequel to the first game that came out all the way back in 2003. And what I got to say, guys, is that it sure looks from the first game to this one that there are, I mean, a substantial amount of changes to this franchise, but it looks like it's going to be, you know, they're definitely going to give a kudos to the past and such. So the things that I want, guys, based on the second title is I want an obvious continuation of the story from the first game. The creator of Beyond Good and Evil always envisioned the Beyond Good and Evil games to, to span over the course of three. So he kind of looked at it as a trilogy. And so what I'm getting at here is I want to see that direct continuation uh, moving forward. It's been so long, though, I think it's going to be important that there are ways that Ubisoft kind of reintroduces, you know, elements of the past to us so that we're able to understand where the game has, you know, is kind of moving and like what direction it's going in and kind of give us a little bit of some backstory as to what happened in the past or with the first game to now. So I think that's something that will be really important. Also, guys, the, the first game had a real, a lot of emphasis, obviously being an action adventure game, but it had an emphasis on puzzle solving as well as, you know, having stealth elements to it. And so what I would really like to see moving into Beyond Good and Evil 2 is a continuation of that. Having, of course, it being, you know, based around an action adventure game, but also having puzzle solving, having, you know, a lot of stealth in it as well, I think is really important. Having also wide open spaces, that being like a full open world, which it looks like we're going to be getting here with Beyond Good and Evil 2. Um, I'm hoping that there's a lot of things to do along the journey as well. Another thing I really want is as you're going through the story, having the ability to you know, traverse the world in a number of ways, being able to do a lot of side missions, being able to kind of learn more and more about the lore, the story, uh, and the legacy here of Beyond Good and Evil. And so that's what I'm, uh, you know, I'm really hoping for in this title. Also, from the first game to now, guys, I mean, you know, the first game being, you know, strictly a single player experience, I think now the times have changed. And so what I'd love to see in Beyond Good and Evil 2 is certainly a single player experience, but I also want to see a multiplayer experience as well as co-op experiences so that it's a full package. There's more ways than one to connect with this game and the franchise as a whole, being able to, after you beat the story, being able to go ahead and, and play the multiplayer, play co-op with your friends, like some co-op missions. Um, whether it's PVE where, you know, you and your friends are going up against enemies uh, and doing like co-op missions or if, you know, just playing a PVP where you're playing against other people across the world. I think that this needs to be a title, guys, that really blows our minds from a graphical standpoint, which it looks like it could be, uh, definitely from being able to have multiple ways that we can play the game outside of just the single player story and having ways that we can play with our friends as well. And so I think that's going to be really important moving into of course, Beyond Good and Evil 2. Another thing, guys, for me is having a lot of, you know, new things, new elements to this to this title, I think, added into Beyond Good and Evil 2 from the first one, but also having some things that, you know, kind of giving a kudos to the past. Having new characters is going to be really important, but also having existing characters from the first game. Having new enemies, but also having existing ones from the past. And the same thing with, like, locations and environments. Having new places we're exploring, new places that you're going to, but also giving, like I said, a kudos to the past. Being able to kind of go around those same some of those same areas that you went to in the first game, I think will be really important. And 
Ultimately, guys, we've waited so long for this game. The last thing I really want is just for Ubisoft to take their time with this title. They've taken a lot of time, obviously, between, you know, the first one and this game, but I really want them to take their time, wait for it to be fully ready, whether that means you have to wait for the multiplayer modes and wait for, you know, other modes outside of the single player story or really just kind of making it as good of an experience as possible so that when we get the game, it's, it's a finished, finalized product, which they can update over time, but it's something that that we're able to just really sink our teeth into and you know spend hours upon hours playing but overall guys I want to hear from you all. What do you guys want to see in Beyond Good and Evil 2? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Beyond Good and Evil 2 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.